Is. I'm actually moving around a lot because I just changed the settings on my camera once again. So if you've noticed that my videos look different from video to video, it's because I'm messing with my camera's settings to see what I like the most for just day to day friendly vlogging. The Canon G7X Mark II is, as we all know, if you don't know, the infamous vlogging camera of choice for most big YouTubers. Like YouTubers I know that have reached a million and uh, still use this camera and this is my second one. <laughs> I'm baking today. I'm baking so much stuff today because my homesteading <laughs> is really ramping up in me this time of year and I don't know if it's a permanent thing or if it's just because it's January and I'm feeling nesty but I just want to bake. I want to like make my home really nice and cozy. It's just this attempt for me to be less wasteful and groceries are so expensive. It's what I spend 90% of my money on is groceries and that's so annoying. I would love nothing more than to be able to make my own breads, make my own breakfast dessert items out of what I have left in the fridge from the previous week, yada yada. You know, just really trying to get the most out of my groceries because it's starting to get a little bit obnoxious how much food I waste and how much I spend on groceries. It's not really adding up. What's gonna happen is, is I'm going to bake all day. I'm making bread for the first time. I've never made bread before. My mother bought me a Dutch oven and bought me yeast to make bread and I've never done it. Making some herbal tea drink for my spritzers and I ran out of uh, parchment paper and this thing just, it's not rust and I know it's safe, but I just don't like putting my bread directly on the bread pan. So I did tin foil, and I'm hoping it's still good. It feels a little hard. <laughs> I think I over whipped it. I'm gonna give it a try because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I want to eat this right now. I already took a bite. Spoiler. It's okay. Not my best. It's not, it's not as fluffy as I like it, but I think A, my bananas weren't very big, so I didn't have like a lot of banana meat. <laughs> and um, I over whipped it. I'm eating that thick end. It's still very good. Breakfast for the week, because that's the main thing is, this week I'm gonna be very busy. I'm gonna be, I've got a lot going on. I'm actually right now messaging a bride about bridal makeup coming up. For a trial, I have to go to my tattoo consultation in Seattle. Bridal makeup is in Seattle. So I'm just gonna do them on the same day. And then I have editing all week. I have a project coming in with Aaron Parsons. I'm so excited about that one. What else is happening? It's actually really good. It's not too like full of banana, which I don't like it when banana bread is like too pasty. Like I want it more like a bread than a banana. Does that make sense? I have no idea if that makes any sense. I heat up my coffee. 
Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make crusty bread. It's by zoebakes.com and the ingredient list is so short and sweet. So I love that. I am a baking machine today because I just made banana bread so that I have something for breakfast in the mornings. Later, I will be making molasses cookies. And right now we're making bread just for the heck of it. It calls for 500 grams of flour. 375 grams of water at room temperature. Sciency. Baking is so sciency. Okay, so it's gonna make me do this <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, it wants you to do it in the mixer. So I'm gonna add <laughs> I can't <laughs> so dumb, I feel so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. You should see how many bowls I just used, not knowing like how to go about this. Okay, now I can't use that. Anyway, I know that this is 100 grams, so we're gonna do this to the mixer and we're gonna let it rest for 15 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. I love the way, I love the way dough feels. I just wanna like smack it like a baby bottom. <laughs> I love dough. <laughs> It's just got like that Play-Doh feel, and as a kid, we all loved Play-Doh, you know? A teaspoon of salt, that's a half, and that's a full. And then your yeast also will be going in here, which I need one and a half teaspoons. Probably have just enough left in my honey jar. And if that's not enough, I do also have just a little bit of this Trader Joe's spicy honey left over from the holidays, so I'll probably be able to just use a little bit of that. So once that 15 minutes is up, I will be adding this and the rest of the water. It's been 15 minutes, it wants me to fold the dough with the flour and the water all together, and then mix it some more with the bread attachment. It already, Smells like bread. Oh, I love that smell so much. Okay, so it wants you to do it with a scraper. This says do it five times. Okay, now we are going to let this rest covered for one hour until the dough has doubled inside. Okay, so we're gonna do this as quickly as possible. I'm probably just gonna do music over it so it's fast. I just wanna breeze through the ginger molasses cookies. But the uh, recipe that I'm using is called Sally's Baking Addiction. And it just, the, the headline really got me with ridiculously soft ginger molasses cookies that they had me at soft. <laughs> I did some red for Valentine's Day cookies. And then here's the regular ginger molasses. And my goodness, those look so good. They came out perfect. They're supposed to have that kind of crackling top. I still have a second tray of just a few more in the oven. I really wanted to spread them out, make sure they didn't touch each other and become misshapen, but they look so good. Okay, it's been an hour. Now we need to turn the dough in with some flour and keep mixing, but I cannot believe how much <laughs> this bread has risen. This bread has risen. <laughs> it's actually getting dark out. That is how much I've been cooking today. I've been in the kitchen all day. These cookies are so good. This recipe is amazing. I will link it below. And it says not to use blackstrap molasses, but I don't see why they say that because it's so good. It's so good. That is so good. I'm scoring it right. A half inch deep slashes. Use the parchment as a sling and gently drop the dough into the pot. slammed it in there into the Dutch oven she goes look at this freaking masterpiece oh 
my god, I made bread. And it's beautiful. That is amazing. <laughs> Look at the inside of it. It's perfect. Like my hat. I actually have been up for a hot minute and I haven't been able to turn the camera on because it has been dark. It's so early. I am not well today. My little girl dog is getting her teeth cleaned today and I know that's not that big of a deal to anybody but to me, I'm scared for her. I just know that, that she is really scared. It's, oh, I don't care about me getting my teeth clean. I wouldn't care as much, I would care, but I wouldn't be as worried as Marvin getting him his teeth clean because he's pretty tough, but she's just so soft. She's soft hearted and she's a soft soul and I know that she's terrified. So my heart is literally breaking. I had horrible nightmares all night about it. I just am not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be really that great mental health wise today. But um, we just went and picked up groceries. I have Marvin in the back with me. He came as emotional support. Just because I knew she would be, she would be better off if he was in the car with us. They, the reason why it's nerve wracking is because she, they do anesthesia. And when I had Booger, rest in peace, when he was, you know, 15, he lived to be almost 16 years old and his teeth were really bad. He had to get extractions twice. So he went to the vet two times for teeth cleaning in his lifetime and not I didn't I don't remember worrying this much but again he was a really low maintenance dog so that's probably why because I just he didn't worry me and she worries me she worries me so much this hat makes me feel cozy <laughs> it's like a hat hug it's so weird we seeing Marvin just like running around playing with his squeaks by himself <laughs> like <laughs> is that your egg of way is that your egg of way he got soaking wet we went for a little stroll as a good boy he, he hasn't had breakfast I mean that's how early it is I was trying to show Aaron his tooth and he just did it let me tell you. let me tell you. do you have a missing tooth let me see the missing tooth. <laughs> we're trying to show that you have a missing tooth. We were just talking about you yesterday. <laughs> and now I can't see it. Bean? Let's see it, Alfalfa. Let me see. Marv? Hey. Do you want your... Do you want your... Breakfast? <laughs> Oh, he said, I'm gonna get that like a boy into we mama. You match it with the purple baby boy. All right, well, maybe I'll zoom in with my uh, <laughs> with my editing. <laughs> Let's get this harness off and feed you some breaks. Huh? It's so weird just having one baby. Oh my goodness. What is this life? October, November, December, January. They're five months apart. And so that's how long we went without her before when we got him. So we had him and then five months later we got her. And it was, I mean, it was really just because Booger, we had two dogs, but Booger was getting old and we wanted to both have a dog to walk. <laughs> and I mean, I'm so glad that we did just because Tina is like a daddy's girl and he's a mama's boy. So it just really, evened out naturally. Tina's a mama's girl too, but she just has a special kind of love for her dad. <laughs> it's unexplainable. I don't ever remember being this nervous. I don't like it. I want my baby. Give me back my baby. Okay, so we'll take 
keep my mind off of the fact that my little baby girl is getting her teeth cleaned today and I'm stressed out about it, we're going to go through some thrifty clothes that I am going to be putting on the web shop or deciding to keep. And uh, before I get started, I did want to also mention something that has just dropped to my web shop. I'm not much of a merch person. I don't have nicknames for people who follow my account. I do like the idea of merch that is pertaining to what we do here which is we talk about therapy a lot and we go thrifting a lot so it says thrifting is therapy and i designed all of this so this is just layers of flowers i put some eucalyptus in here and i actually realize not intentionally it's kind of modeled after my wedding bouquet <laughs> so of course it has roses on it now i will say you're probably wondering why i'm holding it in my left hand it's because when I designed it and ordered the mock-up, they had it reversed and I didn't know that. So I was expecting to get a right-handed mug. When you get it, it will be right-handed and the logo will be here. And so I changed it all and reconfigured it so that it's gonna be a right-handed mug. Sorry for my left-handed friends, but that will sell more because most people are right handed <laughs> and also on the website you can customize your handle and the inside of the mug you can make it your own they don't all match the front and i don't think that they need to i think you can make the mug whatever color you prefer but if these do well i will design more coming up in the future and uh we'll go from there but i wanted to start with this one because this was the first one that i put together and designed and uploaded to a online shipping company so this company is like a printing company that will ship it directly from my website so none of it will be coming here okay, that is my mug if you would like I, I knew I would be swinging it around that's why there's two coffee mugs here because this actually has my coffee in it so I have some items I'm going to put on the web shop the web shop is going to be very specific to just things that I think are amazing so it's going to be a very curated web shop it's not going to be how it was before where I just threw stuff up there so this dress you guys saw me recently score at the Goodwill and I think it's a beautiful dress I think just because of my tattoos on my arms yeah I can probably wear like a turtleneck under it but it's just not really like my thing I find that I don't really tend to keep pencil skirt dresses I like a little more of an a-line have a little bit of a flirtiness to it but I love the way that pencil skirts look on certain people so I just feel like it's just not my thing but I want it to be and then we have a teacher dress that I was having a hard time getting rid of, but I just have to settle on the fact that it really is too tight and getting it on even up over like my butt or my boobs is hard. So I just, it's time for me to let it go. This is an SL Fashions vintage dress. It says it's a size 14, but it fits like a medium. It's smaller. So um, it's a little bit snug on me. I mean, it fits me, but it's a little snug. It has this raw cotton, if you can see that. And it's this really lovely creamy color on the top and then a blush pink on the bottom. It's so pretty. It would be such a really like just beautiful spring dress. This dress I was, uh, I had it like <laughs> ready to go in the shop and then I tried it on and I just love the way the top of it fits me. I love the look of it on me. I don't grab for it very much, but I love it. Love the top with this shoulder detail here. I like this dress a lot. I can't keep two royal blue dresses. And I did the same thing with this dress, which I'm like, why do I tend to easily um, throw royal blue dresses in the uh, giveaway pile or the thrift pile? And then I put them on and I love them and I never wear them. So there's something about them being off the hanger that is not appealing. But then when I put it on, I'm like, yes, I love this. Uh, so I actually decided I want to keep this one. <laughs> the bow. I love the, I can't get rid of something that has a bow on it. This is the dress without the skirt. So this is where I'm like, <laughs> it just kind of shows everything. Some like control top, underwear, pantyhose, shapewear, uh, or if I put a dress over it, cause I like the way the skirt looks over this. So yeah, I'm going to keep this dress for now. <laughs> I'm going to hang it back up. <laughs> This one might be a little bit of a shocker to you guys, but I am going to get rid of this two piece. The only reason why is because it feels a little big on me and I don't like feeling bigger. I feel like it's a very like mature, but also classic silhouette. Like it just with the way that it drapes and the caping of the long to the floor, basically jacket that goes over it. Um, it's just 
really nice and would look really good on the right person. So that um, being a size large um, is a two piece vanilla fun outfit and that is going in the thrift shop. I have a really adorable tennis skirt style pleated vintage. I would be keeping this if it fit me. Beautiful skirt. This is by Piquettes. It's old school. It's very 50s looking, like a 50s skirt. So anyway, that is um, everything in the webshop. I had to share this moment because I made this bread. Isn't that amazing? Oh! Why do they make everything so special? A little spoiler as to what the bathroom makeover is going to involve. I think these are just the invoices, but maybe this has a gift certificate for a new bag. <laughs> You've won the golden ticket, the silver ticket from Gucci. Congratulations. <sighs> <laughs> like another That's a big ass roll. thing. Nice. How much is it? That is a lot. That's more than a lot. Is it? Yeah. Obviously this wall, but still. I want to do this color green, but like three shades darker, or the tan that's in the B. This is our second box like this that I've saved for no reason, but I can't not have, I, I can't get rid of it. You know, it'd be kind of nice to like get umbrellas and like use this as like an umbrella box. You know, me and repurposing things. <laughs> this will be an exciting project coming, coming soon to a Sienna and the Craftsman near you. And we got a little Gucci tote bag. How cute is that? I love it. Of course, it's not your average tote bag. It like feels luxe. <laughs> We're gonna hang this here for now so I can stare at it because it's cute. <gasps> I love, they didn't send that with the last one. So they either forgot or this is like a new thing they're doing. What a week. Can I just start off by saying what a week it has been. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, I think it's all kind of hitting me today that I've been stressed out. So, I mean, I've been fine. Everything's been fine. I've been working to stay busy, but earlier this week, Tina had a dental surgery and they took like 12 of her teeth. So she's been kind of sick and, you know, she's been under anesthesia. And so it took her like a 24 hour period to snap back to it. It was really sad to see her like that. So it was like the anticipation of that the first day and then the next day just taking care of her and being worried because that was a lot of teeth for them to have to take at once. And it's purely just because a lot of them are already bad and kind of falling out and she's a small dog and they just said that that's just how it is. She's so young because uh, we give them dental bones. We try to clean their teeth and this is the first time that she's had to get her teeth cleaned and it won't be the last. So. I've got to get used to it, but it was tough just seeing her unwell and it reminded me of when she got fixed, how I felt that day. I just felt really, just really bothered me to see her like that and on top of just a week of just busy work and I woke up today, I didn't sleep very well and I woke up today kind of stressed out and I think it all just hit me and so I'm in a like really weird mood. So I'll just say that, <laughs> like starting off makeup, this is the trick for hooded eyes. If you wanna, there's like a clicking going on in my ear right now too. I'm like, am I stuffed up? Uh, it got a little muddy, <laughs> but if you have hooded eyes and you want a cool looking wing that when you open your eyes, it looks sealed. See that? So it looks sealed. But then when you close your eyes, it has a little, you know, graphic thing going on. And uh, that helps if you've got, you know, a little bit of overhang, a little eye shelf, lash valance, if you will. <laughs> All right, I'm done. So I'm gonna um, get everything together, get my purse together, and we're gonna go to the home garden show today and cheer myself up. And I haven't eaten anything. All we've done is go on a dog walk and get coffee. 
this morning and I'm trying to do everything I can to lift my own mood from pouting essentially. It's an adult pouting. The dress is getting worn and there's nothing more perfect, I think, than wearing this to the home and garden show because it is my autumn winter garden dress <laughs> covered in flowers. So it's perfect. And um, a little Marc Jacob purse and my proud boots. What time is it? Oh, the Irish Gardens. Oh no, that was Thursday. Sunday. Color my world. Oh, it's the colorless landscape. Cool. Yeah. I haven't even gotten into the door yet. <laughs> Look at this, the dream. Oh my gosh, I want one. What's this for? It's a greenhouse. Oh my God. So cute. That is cool. It is cool. Just kind of like bubbles. Yeah, I can only imagine how long it takes. Mmm. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, look, dahlias! Okay, we're circling back. Look at the dahlia wall, hang on. Oh my goodness. <sighs> look at that display. We came, we saw, we home and gardened. <laughs> and we're done. And we're heading home. The cute little city of Tacoma. Ain't she cute? And the Tacoma Dome. David Bowie has played here, believe it or not. definitely tell that it has been raining. My hair is doing a thing. Uh, it's so fluffy. We just got back from the home garden show and I just wanted to show you guys a couple things that we got. Thanks for taking that out. That's all garbage from upstairs. That's just like my upstairs trash can. So the first thing is we stopped off at Dan's Dahlia's and they're not far from us and he actually said that you can visit their Dahlia Gardens and that he is part of the Dahlia Growers Association or something. It's the same people that do the Dahlias over by the Point Defiance Gardens that we regularly visit in the spring and summer. But um, yeah, he gave us some tips on where to store these until it's time to plant. And he said around here, we wanna wait till about Mother's Day. So I'm gonna go put that on my, I'm excited because this is gonna be the first thing that I will be putting into my Dahlia planner. My Dahlia diary? My garden planner, that's it, my garden planner. And then the ones, that wall, that wall of flowers, it was so beautiful. So these are prize winning um, 
dahlias, apparently. So we got the red ones. I have a lot of plants that I, that I tend to grab for yellow a lot in our garden. And so this year I want to try to go for more reds and purples and pinks and something. I mean, it's weird. I don't know why I always grab yellow. I think it's just because they're so bright. They grab my eye first, but I want to get some other colors in the garden. So this, this is a beautiful like blood red, ox blood red. And then, wow, look at these Rocco pom-poms. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, I was in a mood before we went to this, but walking around and looking at gardens and plants, a hundred percent cheered me up. Like I am in such, wow, why did it look crooked? I am in such a good mood from walking around. And we talked to gutter people, like, like they put these guards on your gutters. We talked to um, an installation, insulation, a guy about our basement and we want to refinish. And we got some really great advice from him and got his card and we got so many flyers of all these places that we stopped and talked to. And we got especially one that we want to possibly down the road, maybe talk about with some landscaping help. Uh, but I do want to do a lot of gardening myself and, but sometimes you need like help to get it to where you need it to be and then you can maintain the garden part and that's kind of my goal. Uh, I don't know if this lighting is very good and I've had glasses on my face. And then the, uh, the only other thing I got was from River's Edge and it's a lavender farm in Puyallup. The feel, I'll have to show the camera how hydrating it is. I, I like, it was instant when I put it on. I was like, oh, yep, gonna need to go ahead and get some of that. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this lighting because it's pretty much dark out, but oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, so nice. Honestly, I would have preferred something similar. I'm glad that we went and got advice from home people like that can help with home stuff, but I would really enjoy doing something like that if it was purely gardening stuff. Just a big convention of plants, gardens, flowers. And the guy from this place said that there is a lavender festival in July. So I need to get the information for that and write it down in my diary so that I don't forget. Because I will forget. But anyway, we have some dinner that we need to put in the fridge. We got salmon. Found out that Marvin has discovered a dead rat in the yard. So we're wanting to put that out in the garbage. Luckily, I didn't see it or have to deal with it. A little bit of treat for ourselves, some pistachio ice cream, little Sunday treat. And we're doing the good old fashioned um, veggies and sides. So we're doing salmon and all of it just goes straight into the oven in these little containers. It's my favorite thing to do on Sundays because then it means I have limited cooking to do and I'm pooped from the week. I don't want to cook anything else. It's the best. And then we also got, we got some more ghee because we ran out. Uh, but the lighting is going so I don't think I have much more else I can film today. That's going to be it. Hopefully I can get this up maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I do not feel like editing right now so we'll see. But um, thank you so much for watching this week. Sorry if it was a little uh, uneventful other than today. Today was fun. And subscribe if you'd like to and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.